A Sydney man accused of catching and cooking an ibis has been freed on bail under strict conditions. A magistrate telling the Vietnamese national the ibis, often called a bin chicken, is protected and not for eating. Where others see an ugly menace, John Tran saw a tasty meal. Mr Tran, how many bin chicken did you kill? One. Only one? Oh, sometimes two or three if my uh, cousin come over for a beer, yeah. Why'd you do it? Uh, try it. it. The man was arrested yesterday after officers allegedly found a dead ibis hanging on his shower, where he also washes and dries his underwear. I mean... Dang. Did it taste any good? Of course! It's delicious! It's like AFC, Australian fried chicken. You know, Australia is like an open buffet. Free food everywhere. The seagull here, a magpie over there. If you drive a little bit, you can eat a wombat. It's Mate, beautiful. That's something you cannot do. Mm, kangaroo! Yeah, kangaroo, I eat that too. You know, I've eaten every animal on the Australian coin. Sometimes, I, you know, sometimes, sometimes, you're a possum walking on my telephone line. If I'm lucky, it electrocute itself, cook myself for me. It's like ordering Domino's, possum free delivery. Today, John was granted bail on the condition he leave ibis and all birds alone. The poor unfortunate ibis. Yeah, yeah, How are yeah. you going to cook it? Oh, I just uh, going to steam it, uh, fish sauce. But you can fry, deep fry, apple fry, uh, soy sauce, chili oil. Use its long beak as a toothpick after. You know, something like that. It's not the first time he's been accused of killing an ibis. He was also charged in March after this incident in Springvale, where locals intervened. The bird later found dead. I mean, it's called a fucking bin chicken. Uh, Australia, I'm just helping you take out the trash, cleaning the streets one meal at a time. I mean, you should be celebrating me. I'm a hero. I'm a hero. Some might say that you're a bad guy. Up to no good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been cheeky. <laughs> I've been very cheeky. <laughs> this is not a laughing matter. Oh, okay. So in Australia, you can eat kangaroo meat, but I can't eat a dumpster chicken. Where's the line? I mean, no one was interviewing me last week when I was eating rats. You gonna leave the bin chickens alone then? Oh yeah, definitely. I'm not gonna catch nothing no more. Wait, what was that? Uh, you know, I'm not gonna go home to my backyard where there are 20 chickens been waiting for me. Wait a second, Mr. Tran. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not gonna have uh, bacon and bean eggs for breakfast tomorrow, definitely not. But if I do, oh, I'm not gonna stomach ache and get IBS, IBS, I you So you're gonna keep eating them then? Yeah, yeah, def something like that. For sure, for your home, definitely. But when the cameras are off, uh, straight away. Police can check on him up to three times a week to make sure he's lost his appetite for bin chickens. Expect the police any day now. Oh yeah, uh, let me know when they're coming so I can prepare some more chickens who happen to be called Bin. You know, you know Bin is a Vietnamese name? My baby niece is called Bin. We ate her too, I'm not in court, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> this has been Evan Batten. No, Channel no, 8. this has been Bin Chicken reporting from my belly. See you Channel 8 News. This has been Evan Baden, Channel 8 News. Have a vape. <laughs> it's got bean chicken in it. <coughs> Express that police now every...